Welcome to this educational technology video for Connecticut Community College faculty and students. Hi, this short video will walk faculty through the process of embedding a link to a website or, as in this example, a navigational video on YouTube into the text box in an announcement or an item or blank page in Blackboard Learn. It's very easy to do. Now, for this example, I've already created an announcement. My example is a welcome announcement. And as you can see, I've added a little bit of text that tells my students to be sure to watch an introductory video that includes Blackboard navigational and troubleshooting shooting tips. So I want to add a link to this video and up here I've opened the video in a separate tab. I have selected and copied the URL into my clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to the original Blackboard Learn tab and I'm going to edit this announcement. So I select the Action Links drop down and select Edit. Now I'm going to select a little bit of the text here that says watch this introductory video. Now you have to select text or else Blackboard won't allow you to insert a link. Watch what happens if I don't select any text and I click the hyperlink button. See, I get a message that says no text has been selected. Okay, I'll select some text. So I'm going to select watch this introductory video. Now when I click the hyperlink button, I get the insert link dialog box. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure you delete any text that's in, in the URL field. Now right click or hit control V if you're working on a PC and select paste. So now I have the URL. Type a little bit of text in there, just a little phrase like watch this introductory video. Be sure to click open link in a new window. Then click submit. Now as you can see I have a link embedded. So I'm going to scroll down and click submit. Then I'm going to click edit mode off and I'm going to test it. So I click the link and as you can see it's opened in a brand new tab in my browser. Now it's always very important that you turn edit mode off and test a link. If for some reason it doesn't work, here's a quick workaround that usually will take care of a problem. Let's say that I had clicked on this link and it didn't open in a new tab or window. What I would do is turn edit mode back on, select the drop down menu and select edit, and then I would simply come back here and I would click to select the text just the text with the hyperlink. Once again, I would click the hyperlink tool and I would click, even if this was clicked, I would select open link in new window one more time and click submit. Usually that will take care of the problem. For some reason, every once in a while, it takes two tries to make sure that it opens in a new window. So once again, I'm going to click edit mode off, click the link, and as you can see, it's opened correctly in a new tab. Depending upon the browser that you're using, of course, or that your students are using, the URL could open in a new tab or in a new window. But that's all there is to adding a link into the text box. Hope you find this video helpful.